Shalom, Israel, Shalom, family. This is Ark Ben. I just want to um share a um, message with y'all. You know, share a message with the ox and other coats. Hope all is well on y'all in Zion. But uh, yeah, let's um uh, the message is gonna be finding power in the Bible. You know, cause a lot of people uh think the Bible is just a book, but it's more than a book. It's the word of the Most High as a spirit. You know. You know, uh, it's a supernatural book, you know. That's why many people can't understand it because they don't um, seek the most high. Most people in the world, you know, they quit to be, they quit to come against the scriptures. But, uh, yeah, there's power in the Bible. You can find power in the Bible, you know. There's many scriptures that could help you to get throughout your day, you know, inspire you to be a better man or a better woman in this life, you know. Because that's the mission, you know, we need to uh, ask the Most High to mold us into the man or woman that he wants us to be, you know, so we could get it right. But uh, finding power in the Bible, the first scripture I'm going to go to is uh, the book of Jeremiah, chapter 15, verse 16. So those who's watching this video, y'all could get your Bibles out or um, when I upload it, y'all could get your Bibles out and follow me along. But like I said, I'm just a messenger, you know. I'm a humble servant. I'm not trying to be the big muckety muck. Never have been. Because we all fellow servants. We trying to walk this side by side and get to the kingdom. That's the end game. We all want to make it into the kingdom. But okay, Jeremiah chapter 50, verse 16. And it reads on this wise. Thy words were found, and I... Did eat them, and thy word was unto me the joy and rejoicing of my heart, for I am called by thy name, O Most High Elohim of hosts. So as you see, you know, you eat on this word, you feed your spirit. The more you read the word of the Most High, you're feeding your spirit. Because, you know, in this fleshly body we got, we get hungry, and soon as we get the urge and hunger urge, we want to eat. We just eat, 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 you know, but... We don't think about feeding our spirit. So you see, as we read the word, we feed in our spirit. You know, the more we get to the word of the most high, we feed in our spirit. And that's the um, beneficial when you fasting, like especially if you're doing a dry fast, you know, getting the word and it's gonna fill you up. You know, you ain't gonna have the urge to wanna eat. It's gonna um your hunger urge is gonna go away because you're feeding your spirit, you know, because you're feeding on the word of the most high. But uh, next scripture we're going to go to, dealing with this finding power in the Bible. We're going to go to the book of Isaiah. Book of Isaiah, chapter 26. Book of Isaiah, chapter 26, verse 3. Isaiah 26, verse 3. And it reads on this why. Thou will keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee, because he trusted in thee. So, no matter what we're going through in this life, we ought to focus on the Most High. Focus on him. Focus on his word. Focus on the Messiah. And he will give you peace. No matter if you're going through it on a job, marriage, relationship, or you stressed out. Because, you know, life will throw you many curveballs, but... The more we focus on the Most High, He going to give us peace. He going to give us that peace of mind. Because we thanking on Him. We meditating on Him. You know, and that's what we need to focus on, you know. Focus on His Word. That's why it's very vital to get into the Scriptures. Because there's power in the Scriptures. Don't let nobody um tell you there's no power by reading the Scriptures. You know, because they don't, they, they don't believe. You know, they don't have faith. You know, don't let nobody shake your faith, brothers and sisters, you know. You know who you are as a child of the Most High. Hallelujah. But okay, third scripture I'm going to, I'm going to the book of Psalms. Go to the book of Psalms. Psalms 30. Chapter, uh, wait, Salakia. Psalms 30, verses 11 through 12. That's what I was at. The 30th Psalm, Psalm 30, verses 11 
and 12. And it reads, Thou hast turned from me my mourning into dancing. Thou hast put off my sackcloth and girded me with gladness to the end that my glory may send praise to thee and not be silent. O Yah, my Elohim, I will give thanks unto thee forever. So you see, we may be mourning for a season, but it's going to become, the more we trust in the Most High, our mourning going to turn into dancing, and we're going to take off the sackcloth, and we're going to, he going to gird us with gladness, you know, because, you know, time after time in life, we're going to dwell on certain things and mourn a loss, but we can't dwell on it because we got to trust in the Most High, you know, he going to turn that all into joy and gladness, all that sadness going to become um, joy. We just got to wait on him and trust in him and have the faith. So don't, um, don't dwell on it, you know, don't, um, be sad, you know, you know, he will lift you up, brothers and sisters. He will lift you up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But, uh, and the fourth, um, scripture I want to share dealing with this, uh, message. He's still in the book of Psalms, by the way. So I'm going to go to Psalm 69. Psalm 69, verse 32. Psalm 69, verse 32. And it reads, The humble shall see this and be glad, and your heart shall live that seek Yah. That's right. So the key is to be humble. And you shall see the glory of the Most High manifest through your life. You know, you will see the blessings. You know, he will He will dwell with you. You know, he will work on your life. You know, whatever area in life that you're struggling with, you just got to be humble. That's the main thing, humble. Be humble. Approach the Most High with a humble heart and with humility. You know, you don't want to be a stone heart, you know, or have a heart and heart. Because he ain't going to want to deal with you, you know. He ain't going to want to, um, because you're not opening up and being humble, you know. So he could, um, build you up and mold you into the man and woman that he wants you to be. And that's the key. Let me read that again at Psalm 69, verse 32. It says, the humble shall see this and be glad, and your heart shall live that seek Yah. So the more you seek the most high, you know, you're going to live, you know, because you're seeking the kingdom. You know, seek the kingdom first and everything else is going to be added, you know, but, um, and he's a rewarder, he's a rewarder, he will, he will reward you the more you seek him, you know, it may not be when you want it to come in your life, your blessings, but he's always on time, remember that family, you know, he will reward you the more you seek him, you know, you take Five steps to the most high, he'll take two steps to you, you know. You know, we just got to uh, focus on the more. And I know sometimes it could be difficult with the distractions of life, life, you know, with a job, entertainment, family life, you know. Many things in this life distract us from spending time with the Father, you know, by studying, reading, praying, prayer, you know, and fasting. But, uh, yeah, that was Psalm 69, verse 32 I just read, but... Now we go into the uh, New Testament for the fifth scripture. We go into Second Corinthians. Second Corinthians chapter seven, verse thirteen. Second Corinthians chapter seven, verse thirteen. And it reads, Therefore we were comfort in your comfort, yea, exceedingly the more joy we for the joy of Titus, because his spirit was refreshed by you all. So you see, the more we um, seek the power of the Bible and the power of the Most High, we will be comforted, you know, and we will experience joy, you know, no matter what. There is power in reading the Bible. There is power in the scriptures. Don't let nobody tell you otherwise because their faith is weak or they don't have faith or they are a non-believer. 
you know, most non-believers, you know, they don't trust in the most high. They want to um, march to the beat of their own drum. And that's what this society is teaching people, you know, march to the beat of your own drum. You know, you determine what's righteous and not, you know. No matter what the Bible says, they teach society, you know, you have the power to um, determine what's right or wrong or live the life you kind of want, you know. So basically, you pitting yourself above the most God. I'm slacking. You pitting yourself above the most high God, you know, because you want to be a God yourself. You're breaking the first commandment. Thou should not have no other gods before me, you know, because many people in this society, you know, they want to um, be their own God. They want to determine what's right and what's wrong. No matter. They, they figure, oh, I don't need no Bible to tell me what's right and wrong. You know, I know, I could, you know, as long as I have a good heart and uh, be a good person. No, there's only one good. The Most High is the only one good. Yah is good. He's the only one good because we need our um, fleshly bodies. You know, we sin us, you know, and we will fall. We will go off time after time. That's why we got to repent daily. You know, we got to repent daily. But, uh, you know, but uh, none of us good, man. None of us good. You know, there's only one good, and that's the Most High Yah, the Father. Okay, that was Second Corinthians seventeen thirteen. But the next scripture I'm going to, going back to the Book of Psalms, Psalms eighteen, verse two. Psalm eighteen, verse two. The Book of Psalms. Verse chapter 18, verse 2. The Most High is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, my Elohim, my strength, in whom I will trust, my buckler, and the horn of my salvation and my high tower. So that was a song by King David, you know. He just testified through his song in verse 2 that the Most High is his rock. You know, and that is true. The Most High Yah is our strong tower. Always has been the stronghold for the nation of Israel. You know, each time Israel got into trouble and they crawled on the Most High, he delivered them. And they thank and praise him for a season. Then after another season, then the next season, they turn their back on him and then he, pit them, he punished them. He chastised them by putting them into captivity. And when the chastising was getting too much for them to bear, they started calling on Yah. And y'all heard their cries. And he delivered them again. And, you know, they've been good. They behaved. They followed the law, statutes, commandments for a season. Then come another season, they rebelled. You know, it's like a pattern. It's like a pattern. But uh, Psalm 18, verse 2, it says, you know, The Most High is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, my God, my strength. In whom I will trust, my buckler, in the horn of my salvation, in my high tower. Hallelujah. Verse 3, I will call upon the Most High, who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from my enemies. Hallelujah. That's right. Call on the Most High. No matter where you at in this life, call on Him. You may be in the lowest state of your life. You may be rock bottom. That's the perfect time to call on the Most High, y'all, brother and sister. You know, no matter what you're going through. And I know it's going to be tough, you know, because nothing is easy in this life, you know. Nothing is easy in this life. You just call on the Father. He will hear you. Get into your prayer closet. Face the east, you know. Conversate with the Father, you know. Have a long conversation with the Father in your prayer closet. He will hear you. You just got to come with faith and strong belief. He will hear you. Hallelujah. All right, family. Last scripture for this message. Last scripture. Going to the book of John. The book of John and the Gospels. The book of John chapter 14. The book of John chapter 14. Verses 26 and 27. John chapter 14. Verses 26 through 27. Let's see what the Messiah says. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost or Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance. Whatsoever I say unto you, that's right, the Ruach HaKadosh or the Holy Spirit, you know, he will um, 
bring things into remembrance and how that's happening. You see some of our people coming into the light. They waking up to who they are as Israelites. And that's a wonderful thing to see. You see many ox in the cults around the four corners of the earth waking up to their identity. And the more you dwell with the Most High and study His Word, the Ruach going to reveal things to you that the Father wants you to see in increments. You know, because, you know, a lot of brothers and sisters, they want to know everything at once. We're not going to know everything. I don't care if you've been in this walk for um, 50 years. You ain't going to know everything, you know. We got to be humble, you know. We got to be humble. You know, we got to accept what the Most High give us and what He want to reveal to us and, and say hallelujah anyway, hallelujah. Well, okay, verse 27. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you, not as the world giveth. Give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. That's right. Because once the Most High give you peace, you know, you ain't going to be afraid of nothing. Your heart should not be troubled because you um have a peace beyond all understanding. And that's what we should ask the Most High for, you know, that peace beyond all understanding. You know, because when, and that's the main thing. Pray, like, before you go out and start your day, pray that the Most High, you know, go before you and he um bring you a peace of mind. Especially when you're going on these jobs, you know, because you're surrounded by all these people, got different spirits in them, you know. And, and they know you um walking in a set apart way. If they know you're an Israelite, then they're going to look at you. They're going to probably try to plot against you. You know, you pray that the Most High fight your battles, and he will fight your battles for you. Hallelujah. That's right. But uh, I just want to share these um seven scriptures with y'all. You know, I hope they um was expiring to y'all. But I'm going to go over. I'm going to go down the um list that I um, shared. The first scripture I shared was Jeremiah chapter 15, verse 16. Second scripture I shared was Isaiah 26, verse 3. Third scripture, Psalms 30, 11 and 12. Fourth scripture, Psalm 69, verse 32. Second Corinthians chapter 7, verse 13. That was the fifth scripture I um, shared. The sixth scripture was Psalm 18, 2. Chapter 18, verse 2. And the last scripture I just read was John chapter 14, verses 26 and 27. So, family, I hope this um video helped y'all. You know, there's power in the Bible. You can find power in the Bible. You know, don't let these non-believers and intelligent naysayers say so. Because we got a lot of that around. It's like, oh, man wrote the Bible. Man wrote the Bible. And what about all them self-help books y'all be um trying to uh, promote? Man wrote that too. You know, all these pseudo um electrical books. Elect you know, you know what I'm trying to say. But uh, anyway, the Bible is power, you know, because the most high is, you know, he created the word. The word always existed. Way before the creation, the word was always there. Hallelujah. But um this is your um brother Moshe Ben Yahweh Israel or simply Ak Ben. You know, some brothers and sisters call me Ogben or Moshe Ben. You know, wherever you feel comfortable to say, I'm not going to hold it against you because I'm just a humble servant, your fellow um brother, you know. I'm a humble servant. But anyway, man, y'all have a blessed day. Shalom and blessings. And peace be upon y'all, man. Until next time, shalom. But, you know, that's why I upload these videos, you know, because normally I go live. But like I say, I got to wait till the first of next year, you know, most high willing on StreamYard because on a free version, they give you that 20 hour um limit. And I'm not paying for no subscription on no StreamYard service, so it could miss me with that hogwash, you know. They ain't getting that's an unnecessary bill, but um, y'all be blessed out there, brothers and sisters. You know, I'll probably make another video uh sometime this day or whenever, but until then, man, most high bless y'all in Yahshua's name. Shalom.